This is called the show. If you didn't know, this is called the show. Shush, Hey, hey, hey. I know in a bit. Guess who's back in the motherfucking hell? Ooh, Barracuda. Ooh. Ooh. Happy Thursday. You are listening to the show. My name is Elizabeth Meza, and we are on Discover Dash Radio. And do you guys remember that last week when I was promoting Marie, I said, I'm going to have like half of the fishbowl is going to be in studio. <laughs> and you know what? It's like technically, like I'm allowed to say that. I was saying that because, you know, so back at the other show was Tiffany Granith, Marie, and uh, Mushy, and myself. So that's like four of us. And because it's only two of us today, that's like half of the fishbowl. So today is half of the fishbowl day. <laughs> <laughs> right, Marie? Yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? It's been a long time. I know. Too long. Way too okay? long. Because I don't, I think it's been over a year. It has. Because mm-hmm. the last time I saw you, I had gone over to have like, it wasn't gone, but like you but, cooked. Yeah, right? you guys came, you and your, your babies yeah. came over for dinner. Yeah. To meet my baby. How old was Lily? Was she one? No, she wasn't even one. So it's been over oh. a year and a half then. Wow. Because she wasn't crawling, was she? She wasn't crawling she at wasn't, the time. Oh my gosh, it's been a long time. Mm-hmm. Too long, way too long. We wow. have no excuse but being lame. That's I know. It. No, you know what? That's what happens when you have kids. <laughs> like when you have kids, all of a sudden, like there's you don't have time for anything. You want to have time for things, but but just, it just falls through. And I, you know, the thing is, it's like I fall in that I fall in that world of oh, I'll do it another day. Like I'd rather yeah. just go home and relax. I do, do that. Yeah, like I do that a lot too. It's like a lot of times if I have some free time, yeah, I end up doing nothing. It's like, oh, you know, I really should do this. And I'll schedule things to do. And at the last minute, I end up doing nothing. And my son gives me a hard time about <laughs> it. Like RJ, literally, he's like, mom, you do that all the time. Why do you cancel on your friends all the time? You tell them you're going to go and then you just don't go. <laughs> I know, but your real friends still love you in the end. You know, you pick yeah. up where you leave off. Yeah, no, it's just, it's just too busy. I don't believe in putting that much pressure on myself. I I can't. You know, like, especially now, like when you have a family, it's different. Yeah. You cannot do that because it just, you have different directions pulling you and there's just so much stress, you know, different levels of stress Mm -hmm. and things that you have to do and prioritize that it's just like, no. One priority, my, I have um, a small group of girlfriends about every month to every other month. Yeah. We do go have dinner. And I love that it started off at dinners at seven and we would be home at nine. And now <laughs> we're literally leaving the house at 5 p.m. <gasps> and we're home by 7 <laughs> That's really funny. And I'm exhausted. So. <laughs> Is it because you're tired yes. and you want to go out earlier? And, and we all have kids now yeah. and we all want to be home all of us really enjoy that moment of putting the kids to bed. Yeah. You know, and we like that nighttime routine. And so we've all kind of molded in this, hey, let's meet at five. <laughs> we'll have a glass of wine, dinner reservations at 530. We'll be home by 730. And it always works out that way. That's so funny. Do you guys go like local or do you always pick like uh, different restaurants like in different cities? Always depends. Yeah. So we always pick like. We try to go through, like, L.A.'s top lists. Yeah. And so we've been to downtown L.A. We've gone out into West Hollywood. Pasadena is a real one where we stick to the most. Yeah. Yeah. It just depends. But we have to do it. You have to. Otherwise, like, you end up not having a life. (laughs) Exactly. Like, seriously, like, I, for me, that's what I, that's what's been happening a lot lately. I don't do anything anymore. Like, I'm just exhausted from, like, having to do a lot of things. Like, you know, it's not... Well, you don't do social things anymore. I don't do social things anymore. Because you're busy. It's so busy. And especially when the kids get older, you think it gets easier and it doesn't. Because then that's when, like, the teenage years start. Mm -hmm. And it's just, like, not easy. It gets, like, harder and just, like, more stress. And, like, you want to be home. So, if you know, like, RJ goes out... 
I want to make sure that it's like I have to be home because I got to make sure that he's going to be at a certain time or if he needs me, I feel like if I do something, I, you know, it's like I feel like I'm not going to be readily available if he's like, mom, can you pick me up now or mom this? And so I'm, I just like stay put. Well, and I mean, the other burden is you're a single mom. Yes. So I can throw that stuff in um, my husband's direction. Like yeah. I can throw some of my burdens on him. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like we share burdens. That's yeah. a better way of putting it. We share the burden. Yeah. Whereas you don't share the burden with anyone. It's no. all, and I hate to call it a burden, but you know what I mean? Like no, you true. share 100% of that. Yeah. The it's duty true. is yours. It's like you can't really you don't delegate. Have no, yeah, you can't delegate. So it's, you know, it's it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. I know. And RJ keeps telling me, he's like, mom, he's like, why don't you go on a date? It's like, he really Aww. wants me to date. But he, it's so funny. RJ, can I say where you want me to sign up at? <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking about, you know, going on like match.com or one of those places, you know, to, where I met my guy. Yeah. Like I was thinking of doing that. And you RJ's should. like, well, you know what RJ's like? He's like, no, mom's like, you really should go to sugardaddy.com. I was oh, like, what? No. I did not say that. <laughs> he said, and I was like, no. He's like, come on, mom. He's like, I'll help you do the program. He's like, no, RJ. I, am, I do not. <laughs> I was like, I am not trying to be on sugardaddy.com. No. And you know what? If you want a sugar daddy, so on match.com, yeah. you can actually in the profile say how much you're, the person has to make. <laughs> And I know that seems shallow, yeah. but when you're looking for a life of stability, like one of the things I did yeah. um, in my profile is I X'd out, like, I don't want anyone in the entertainment business. I don't want to date an actor. Yeah. Okay. Call me crazy, but they're usually poor yeah. and I don't want to pay for all the dinners. Right. But, yeah. I don't want to be the breadwinner. I like equal. Starving so artists, I, yeah. I made, yes, I don't like, I'm not into starving artists mm-hmm. and I'm not into paying your bills. I I put down that they had to make equal or more than me. Yeah. And I think that that is a really okay, honest thing yeah. to put out there, especially when you have a family and it you is. want that stability. Like, yeah. I'm not in college. And so I did. I put, you have to make this much money a year and I, or I'm not interested. Now, when you did your profile, did you, did, did you do your real name? Yeah. You did? Yep. And you didn't have any trouble with like people like having just guys that wanted just to mess around? You know, I did all the time. But you weed those out. You weed them out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had guys that just wanted like one night stands. You just ignore them. Yeah. Um, Because I was like really, do you remember when we were, um, when we were working together, these dating experts came on and they criticized me for being so strict With my profile Mm -hmm. and not to sound cocky, but I was like, you're not even married. Yeah. You haven't had a long term relationship and you're the dating expert. But I met my husband in we like met on match within two weeks of being on match because both of us had such strict, detailed profiles and we moved in together within like the next week. So who like is doing something wrong here? What? Wait. And I know that's a fluke, but we li- we I never saw my apartment again after the first week of dating. Are you serious? Yeah. It was like that quick? Yes. And I I Damn. just feel like when you lay it all out there yeah. and you know say what you want, but when you lay it all out there and say I'm not into like any of your BS games yeah. anymore. I think that you open yourself up for finding something really nice. Wow. So then, you know what? That gives me... you got to be clear. I hope because, yeah. it, you know, when I first kind of started, I didn't really complete the profile. I just mm-hmm. did like a little bit of it. And when I, like I did put up like three pictures of myself. I put the basic More information. Really? Yeah. You need a fancy picture. Yeah. Full glam. You need to put some pictures up of you boxing and running yeah. and sweaty. You need to put some pictures up with your kids. Um, you need to put some pictures up with like your, um, you just being like casual. Yeah. I put me playing in the mud. You I did. was doing a mud run and I put those <laughs> photos up there. That's pretty and cool And I put myself up with no makeup. Yeah. And I put myself up full glam. I put like 11 photos up or something. Okay, because I only did like three photos and I didn't do like the entire, 
I don't know if it's like a big bio of like, you know, a big thing, a story that you had to put about yourself, but I did like the basic information and I didn't pay for it yet because I was waiting to complete it before I would pay for it. And I had like, fifth, like I think it was like 500 messages, but yeah. you obviously cannot read them unless you pay. Right. You can't read them. But the profiles that some of these guys, it was okay. like daddy something something number. And I was like, what the hell? Loser. Yeah. Delete. So the first thing you need to do is A, weed out all those. But I think that Match still does a three-month guarantee. Oh, really? Do they? I don't Look know. into that. Okay. So when you pay for it, if yeah. you don't meet someone in three months, they give you your money back. If they still run those ads, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not on it. I haven't been on it in two years or years, two years. I know. Two, My baby's like it, two yeah. years, years ago. I haven't been on it in years, but I'm a huge believer in it. Yeah. I'm a huge believer. Um, and before I met, and even when I was in college, I used it at you one did? point. Yeah. Wow. And I met another guy who was great and we had a really long lasting relationship and it didn't work out in the end. Yeah. Um, which I'm obviously thankful for at yeah. this point, but I I've just always had really great luck with it. I want to see your profile before you post it. I, you know Seriously. what? I'm definitely going to have to like. I'm going to have to have help from you. <laughs> I'm going to have to come over to your place and sit uh-huh. down. Like, okay, Marie, let's work on this. <laughs> I'll make it real. Like, we'll like weed out the creeps. Yeah, because I have. I'm like so clueless when it comes mm-hmm. to like doing a profile. I don't know what to say. I'll I don't say know what it. to put. I'll okay. put it on for you. I'll write the whole thing for you. Yeah, I've done that for a few people, really? by the way. Yes, because I'm like, you look. Don't be shy. Yeah, this is your life. Like, don't you want to find a life partner? I do. Like, now I'm ready. Like, I'm definitely yeah. ready to find a life partner. As of January of this year, I decided, you know what? I think I'm ready. But right. I haven't done We're going to find you one. <laughs> Let's do it. I want to fill it out for you now. I know. It's like, <laughs> I want you to fill it out because now that you're telling me all this, I'm like, wow. I was like, okay. No, I was super strict and I didn't yeah. hold. Like, I even said, there was one thing I said, don't contact me if you don't want to get married within two years. Um, it's an absolute don't contact me if you don't want children. Not even a maybe. Yeah. I won't even accept a maybe. If you even say maybe, please don't contact me because yeah. I didn't want, A, I wanted a real man. And I don't like uncertainty. I like right. a confidence in people. Yeah. Be confident with your answer. Don't walk around saying maybe or sure. Sure, I guess. I'm like, no, it's a yes or a no. You know or you don't. Yeah. I don't like wishy-washy <laughs> human beings. So <laughs> what about for like, okay, so for me, you know how you're saying, what about for me? Like, what if I don't want to get married? I just want to have a life partner, but I don't want to take the vows again. Say I, that. Okay. That's absolutely acceptable on that, on that site. eHarmony is a good one too for that stuff. Okay. But try match first. Yeah. Um, Cause as long as like you live with somebody, yeah. especially because I've been married twice. I'm like, I don't, yeah. I don't feel yeah. like I oh, need God. to. I, I know. Can forget you forget about the first one? Yeah, the first one. That was like a short <laughs> run. That was like only two years. I was 18 when I started dating yeah. him, and we got married at 21. I forget about him. He doesn't even count at this point, I does know. he? Cause, no, because it wasn't even a church wedding, so technically I'm still allowed to have a church wedding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was one of those um, non-denominational where we had a uh-huh. judge come to, we got married at the police academy. <laughs> That's all. Well, I eloped, so, you know, it's... Yeah, it's fine, so it's like that doesn't want. really count. If it wasn't for <laughs> being married for two years, I wish it would have only made it one year because then you could have annulled it. it. Yeah, but I was like, who cares? Like, God, it doesn't matter. That's that. so far away. Yeah, no, I would definitely put, look, I'm looking for a life partner, someone who I can spend my life with. I'm not necessarily interested in getting married again. Yeah. And I think that's okay. Like, again, like, I, I always think back irritated at those dating experts. And I'm mm-hmm. like, you're kind of an idiot. Because maybe your stuff works, but why isn't it working for you then? Yeah. Um, and then yet you they would tease me about being too detailed. Yeah. And I'm like, well, it worked out. Yeah, no, and you have to be. You yeah. have to be detailed. Like, you have to be honest and you have you to be, you know, just like forward. Like, one of the things is um, I went on a date in February and this guy was like through a mutual friend that she like set us up. So we went on a date and when we're at dinner, I realized, okay, this is not working out. Like this is just, yeah, no chemistry. He was very, um, very insecure. He spent like two hours just talking, talking about why his wife left him. Just everything, like the whole whatever. 